Welcome back to Democracy Saga. We have just cleared out this fort of Dredge, and now we investigate. You lean on a crumpled wall, watching endless waves of Dredge marching below. Satisfied, Hakon? Mogar asks. The vast number of Dredge remind you of the Great Wars. I've seen your- I've seen enough, you reply. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, I totally understand people have schedules and they can't catch streams live. That's- yeah. I don't even have to time the stream sometimes. <laughs> Mogar stands over the bodies of the man and woman. Think the slag came up here for those two? Asked Mogar, waving his bloodied weapon their direction. Why would anyone be here? I don't think this one, I'm pretty certain, doesn't matter. Also, thanks for the follow. No clue, says Mogar. Yeah, definitely. They're definitely not dressed for it. Something wrong about all this. The girl is definitely dead, but a frown crosses his face as he bends an ear to the man's chest. This one's still breathing. <laughs> democracy fidget spinners. You know, that is democracy. Democracy and, 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 and marketing are just hand in hand. I'll put Fluff Cat's face on him. Nothing actually my brand. Just, you know, everything else I can I can leech off of. Such as streaming. The clang of metal reaches you from the courtyard below, muffled by the thick snow. You curse. Quick, back down. Bring the live one. You skip stairs as you descend, shouting orders to the varl below. We've got another fight on our hand. 1,100 of them. We're evenly matched. What are we doing this time? Playing for balance? This finally be the run where we push our luck. Yeah. It's... I, I feel like maybe it's because the battle was too easy and they're like, nah, you don't deserve a second wave for that. <laughs> right now we're in the part of the game that I think is actually pretty easy because you have, you know you have some very strong characters. You may lose some of them, but for the most part, you've got some very reliable, strong characters. Looks like we're doing balance again. We're going for the move. I'm, I am totally down for the move. I will, I will do the move when the time is right and the enemy doesn't run away because I'm too scary. Oh, shit. We have a problem. Well, then. Okay. There's no slags. Uh, there's no slingers. Okay. Four big guys. Two regular guys. It's a small group. Also, look... Oh, look, look at... The, uh, the, U Ubin, please. Can you just move a little bit? He's carrying the guy. Also this guy. Alright. Shield. Larger shield. And strength. And larger strength. I see. That's a significant... Uh, significant guy there. Luden has eight strength, which is kind of pathetic. And Mogar has five strength, which is pathetic. Oh boy. He's, he is going to be good for literally one thing, and that is hopefully setting up some Bring the Pain. I can't think of anything else he will be able to do. Provoker may be, come in handy here. Small guys are over on this end, so. Summoning allies looks to be something they only do when they're fairly beaten up, and it has a very long wind up to the graft. Yeah. Impale may help. Battering ram may also help. I think I've got one battering ram for this guy on the edge, so we can kind of keep our flank a bit clear. All right.
Shit, what a stupid first move. I left Luden in in attack range. That's that's no good. Yeah, that's three damage to him. Never mind. They're going for armor. I guess that makes sense. That's fine. I'm um, Let's see, Sundering Impact will do one break to target. We don't want that. We want the full break. As much break as we can get here. Fortunately, the 19 strength guy seems to be way away from the spot he wants to be at. So he's going for a hike. I'm okay with that. Pharisee will kind of bring up the rear, keep the flank from getting hit from the side. I want Mogar to only take attacks from one direction. Barris is just gonna move. Or no, that's Gris. Gris is shield guy, Barris is spin guy. Could provoke that man, but it would also. He would take. Or no, he would take one damage. Does where you're facing matter? I don't think it does. I'm pretty certain it does not. And if it does, then I am completely unaware. But people are saying, no, it is not. How much break do you have? Only two, huh? And one exertion, so you can do three armor damage or distract a man. But also, big guy is here and would be able to move there. No, you know what? If I'm distracting him, he's not going to move. I think. Anyway, let's yell at this man. <laughs> Fasolt, I need you to take all of the damage for us. And he also has returned the favor. So he's going to do armor damage to everyone that hits him. He will counterattack. Also, hey, Luden, it's time. Do the move. Hopefully, that will cause him to meander around a whole bunch and waste uh, his health. Also, while Mogar is still alive, we're going to bring the pain as much as we can. As much pain as is available. Good. One of them is almost neutralized. Large man is trying to get in position. I think he might be able to hit Mogar next turn. Alternatively, and this is risky and could seriously work against me. Okay, he's at the end of the order. If I move here and do 12 damage total by spinning, wait. Hmm. Okay, I accept. Too bad we can't hit diagonally, otherwise we'd get the full swing. But here, I think... Yeah. We'll do a couple of damage. Yeah, let's definitely wear these guys down, and then we'll be considerably safer. another one of these guys, or I can make a really weak attack on one of them. I guess uh, 18, he'll I take said three go damage. For more armor? Sorry, go for armor? Yeah, it's, it's, there is a lot of enemy shieldmen in your vicinity. Yeah, they have less strength. And they're all clumped together, so you have a good chance to get a lot of shatter value. Yeah, you're right, actually. So, three on this guy, and the two guys will take damage. Yeah. That's how that works. So if you go for the guy in the middle, you end up uh, tapping everyone. Hmm. Afraid to kill this guy and free him. The other guy 
Mogar will get a chance to attack, and so will Hakon. But neither of them will be able to hit this large man. Unless... Yeah, I have to take out both those guys first, and that's not going to happen this turn. Oh, shit, he's got too much armor. Okay. Fine. Not an optimal move. Good deflection. Mogar is staying alive which is why he's here. It is what he does. Yeah, you know what? That's okay. I'm fine with that. Big man goes next. And it's probably better if I don't hit that guy right now. Yeah. We're going to chip these guys down, but we will win. Also, if you want to break your own armor, I'm totally okay with that. Here you go. Here's your one shot. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your contribution to our renown. My reputation grows. Still got 17 health. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to malice this guy. That way I can clear these guys out slowly and you know, do the thing that I would need to do. I also need to break this guy. And that guy. Alright, Hakon has no armor left. Got to be very careful. guy is finally dead. Luden's down. Man, we're going to need to rest after this battle. Please remind me to do that, because I will forget. And then wonder why no one has any strength at all. Yes, go after <laughs> go after Hakon's last two points of armor. Please do that. <laughs> Vital to your success. Just get away from us. Just give us a bit of time. We're, we're working on the other guys right now. I'm playing this fight extremely slow, because I know we're just barely going to make it. Unfortunately, damn it, that was the wrong one. I could have taken them both out if I had done that right. Now. Really yeah, is. I have a problem here. No one you didn't has start so bleeding strength. these big men. Faster. Yeah, I waited a bit too long. All right. Um, who's next? That guy. Shit. 
shit. Yup, action economy has worked against me. Gotta wear these guys down before they kill me. Unfortunately, it might be too late already. That guy is too strong. That guy is extremely strong. Why are you alive? How did I leave you alive? I said the whole fight. Everything was dependent on you not killing us. sad thing is, this is also the formation I don't want. He's only taken... Mogar still has maximum armor. That's actually helping me here. He will, ha he will survive two more rounds. This may come out, right? Also, if that guy decides to summon help, that also may complicate things. God. Ah, why are you here? Okay, if I get rid of that guy, I may have a shot. No, don't hit Mogar. All right, fine. Go for his armor. I'm fine with that. Yeah, go for his armor. Yes. They can't hit him because of his armor. And... Yeah. Alright, if and I'm gonna... And then this one standard tiny grunt will suddenly be the most dangerous thing in the world. Yeah. First loss. Hey! <laughs> we found a game over! Okay, guys, stream over. It's We're dead. <laughs> yeah, good. They're putting us here. All right, so I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do those two fights again. Gonna have to be a bit smarter about that. I I should have had it too. I, that was that was unfortunately my fault. What a good cautionary tale that was from the skulls about what could go wrong <laughs> if we climb that tower unprepared. Oh, uh, this is just I I let that guy alone for way too long. I. Okay, so how to distribute these things? I've got two will per kill. Who gets a lot of kills? Hack on. Mogar. Yeah. And then just an extra willpower. Luden. <laughs> I kind of wish I had Yersa right now. That would be that would be helpful, but we have to make do. So I think I was correct in putting uh, Mogar there, but I think I should have a weaker character bring up the rear, like the salt, because he didn't get much use in this battle.
Oh, so conserve your will in these opening rounds. Yeah. Until you see where they put the bombs. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one willpower instead of two in the first round. Yeah, hitting Luden first round, fine, whatever. We expected that. Uh, he needs to move over. Or he won't have room to advance. So I'm gonna use one willpower there. Hopefully, I can get out of this without too many injuries. That would really help. All right, there's Sunstrike. <laughs> I'm glad we eventually saw a game over, because I was like, I, I saw it when I was messing around. I didn't really see it that often elsewhere. Oh, hey, there's Ubin. What's up? <laughs> it's hanging out. Now I will take the move, and I will bring pain. Good. One down. There's the bomb. Good. I think Mogar will probably move before that. Hopefully. Still do the one, one will of tail. Yeah, it's four damage. Four? Yeah, that was four damage. Good, we're hurting them over here where we can do more damage to them in the open. take damage from that. That's... Can't really help that. Hmm. Sure. Nice. That works. Rearrange the party. Enemy party. are taking some damage. I'd really like to save him from dying. Okay, one down. Yeah, injuries are only applied if you get knocked down. Very important to note. Let's get Mogar a little out of the way here. Good. Hit Mogar. He can handle it. Also, though, as we saw from the other attempt, as a tank, Mogar can still get a lot of work done even with low strength. Yeah, he can get quite a bit of work done with no strength at all. That's unfortunate, but...
Okay, battering ram will not do anything. Let's really break this guy's armor. That's what Teresi's, uh, or Gris is pretty good for. Gris has been a pretty competent character. The soul, there's really nothing I can do with you. Right now, you're kind of in no man's land here. Loon's gonna go pick up some free kills. Also, as a reminder, Luden gets a point of uh, willpower every time. Oh, shit. Heavy impact. Okay. I, I have one willpower. I will take that. Ah. Oh, not close enough. Okay, so if I can get through this with just Mogar down, that would be pretty good. It's looking like how it might play out. Just I'll just hang out. You're you're good. You you you've done your job for this fight. You have fulfilled your defined role. Too bad I can't push him away, but... Luden's still got plenty of willpower. Gotta nail that guy. Yeah, he is the only threat really left on the field. Spin! There's a kill. Kill from residual damage. Don't die! Okay, good. <laughs> I just barely survived. Looks like Hakon will finish it here. Okay. Yo, yeah, definitely. Well, no, I don't think we can rest. Uh, cause it's you, we're not we're we're not on we're not we're not resting. We don't have time. Okay, we were doing formations. We're going to do formations because we're a little gimped for this fight. Okay. Oh, six stress. Oh, worst thing. We can. I can promote somebody, maybe? No? No. It costs 15 to promote at rank 3, unfortunately. Alright. Similar formation. Wait, no, there's no large guy this time. There's more small men. I should be fine. This is a much more favorable starting position. Not formation-wise, just, just this this group of enemies is not as dangerous. Got a little unlucky with that last one. Still though, I just barely lost. That was the that was the killer part. This 
asshole. Please take damage intended for better characters. Thank you. Good. Let's just clear this guy out right away. Oh, don't do that. I need that space. Fine. These guys are not grouping up like they usually do. It's almost like they know. Spin opportunity, so I'm just gonna go for armor. Maybe Fasol and Bearsy can wear those guys down. Oh, wait, I should eat. Oh, no, okay, it does do three damage afterwards. So it's not a total waste if I do that. Still not the best move. I should have used only one willpower there. Mogar, now able to do some damage. How? He's got four strength. He's got five defense. Huh. Alright. Oh, it's because it's Luden's turn, not Mogar. Haha. <laughs> Numbers, how do they work? Uh, can I impale? Maybe? It wouldn't cause a lot of damage. It would cause less damage than just stabbing him. Yeah, this would be great for, for Siege Arrow, but nope. <laughs> we do not have that. Another Bring of Pain, just to eliminate that guy's armor. And also, just attract more attention. Ah, here's a large man. wear that big guy down as we hit the smaller ones. Oh! That's a big hit for Luden. We gotta wear that guy down. That's the big strength guy this time. fine, though, because I think I... Yeah, Impale will do some work here, I think. He'll take a few damage walking back towards me. Let's do that one last pain. One last chance for pain. Move this down. All right. Not unexpected. By the way, we're not taking the... We're not <laughs> spinning the, the prize wheel this time. Just, just if I could make it clear. Good. Alright, Mogar's down. Good, yeah. Let's crush. You, sir. Yeah, this battle I have to rest after. Oh yeah, definitely for sure. You better believe we're taking a week off after this fight because everyone's going to be hurt. Well, several characters will be hurt. I gotta remember not to just, you know, forget my strategy and screw up at the tail end of this fight this time. God, Gris is just cleaning up now. Just walking around and poking all of the low armor enemies. Uh, Hakon should survive this.
There it is. Victory. No, we're not gonna do it this time. Wait, what? Oh, good. I, I apologize. I'm, no, not good. All right, can we do this? Answer, no, no we can't. I don't think we can. It's four large guys. Shit, I'm so sorry. I have wasted time. Load, I, I'm just not, I'm not even. Oh boy. <laughs> 